How's it going, everybody? Burt Crowney 88 coming at you the YouTube video, and Friday is upon us. It is release day for everybody. So congratulations to those that got the game today. I hope you guys do have a blast. And what are some things you need to know about what to chase, what to do with your cards? And if you haven't done any of this stuff yet, guys, this is something to go after. So even if you didn't get the game today and you got the game Tuesday, check this video out because this has to do with the XP collectibles, what you should do, and to do stuff right away because they, they don't say what order you have to go into, guys. I know it's levels, but they don't say what order you have to go into. So let's look at the XP collectibles, how you get them, how you use them, and what am I talking about by order? Let's get into it, guys. I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that sub button and notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. But let's get into the XP collectibles and just see what we're talking about. So in sets, you're going to see Quest for Hut 99. And that is essentially your XP collectibles. Now, these XP collectibles, you're going to see level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And coming soon. And you'll see here, check back every Tuesday for the next set. So maybe this upcoming Tuesday, we get level 6, level 7, so on and so forth. But right now, we have 5 levels. And you're going to see in these levels, Hut 99 collectible and a mini pack. What do you need to do that? You need 2 XP collectibles to get a Hut 99 and a mini pack to complete level 1. And when you get that Hut 99 collectible, that goes in here. And when you get 40 of them, you get your choice on a 99 Everything Master Item Choice Pack. Untradeable, of course, but that gives you a 99 overall player for doing your dailies and getting your XP collectibles. Now, before we get into the order of these and what you should do first, getting the game, and uh, when you get a good number of your collectibles built up... I'm I'm going to just go over with you how you get them, certain ways of getting them, and some things that people might not want to do, but you should do just to get them. So you get them for daily logins. You'll get them in your daily pack. I have 14 hours and 57 minutes till I get my next one, but you'll get one immediately when you log in. You also get one for completing your daily tasks. When you complete your daily tasks, you'll get another one. I'm about to get one for completing a set and making 25 passes, and that resets every day at 5 p.m., so you'll get one every day for logging in and you'll get one every day between 5 p.m. and 5 p.m. if you complete your dailies. Now, if you go to soul, now if you go to single player mode, there is moments in the they, they took over for challenges. So if you go into moments, you're going to see training camp moments and under your rewards. You're going to see that you have three stars, three sets of moments or challenges you have to finish and you get bronze customization choice pack and a training collectible if you go down one you get a silver player an xp collectible and a training collectible the xp collectible is the one you want same with in the position lock moments the xp collectible is what you want now if you want the silver the arena or the training collectible you get that in the joining progress i don't want any of that so i'm gonna i'm just not gonna do that moment but in here how you how you get which one you want is the corresponding slot to the reward so if you want the silver player you got to get face offs with mcdavid if you want the xp collectible which is the ones we want it's in the second spot so you got to get an assist with mcdavid same with the advanced objectives because we want the xp collectible we have to get hits with any base player item so those are two more collectibles so you get one for logging in you get one for completing your missions and you get two for completing those ob those ob those moments. Sorry about that. The fifth one you can get if, yes, you go into Hut Rush. Hut Rush isn't looking good right now. It's not looking like something to grind out fully uh, or get after. Because, sure, you get a power-up collectible. But uh, you only get a couple of gold players. Gold players are good early on, but nothing really crazy. A premium pack, sure. Uh, four gold players, like I said... You get a power of collectible, but I'm not grinding 2 million points to get two premium packs, which are just players, by the way. So you get a bunch of gold players and a player pack, but the XP collectible is what you want. So grind out the 500,000 points in, in Hot Rush, which isn't hard, which isn't hard. You just go play on Rookie, and then right here, you're going to see if you block one shot, you get 10 backhand shots and you get 10 slap shots. That's going to be like 400,000 points there. And then just for playing the game while you do it and score goals, that is that. So you might have to play one, maybe two hot rushes. If you have to play more, go to a different one. Go to the Kale McCarr hot rush moments. Make a pass with your goalie. Just throw it back to your end. Pass it out with your goalie. 
that gets you 125,000 points right there. All you're looking for is 500,000 points to get your XP collectible. Now that we've done all that, and we're waiting for this to load, haha, we're, uh, we're gonna go look at the collectible set in exchanges. You go to sets, and you go to the Hut 99, and we're gonna look at what to do with them. So if you're looking at doing the team builders, and you're very interested in getting a team builder, then this is what you do first. Yes, level one's there, and by all account, leveling up, you should start at one, level two, level three, level four, level five, but it doesn't tell us we have to go in order. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go into level 10, which the 82s is expensive, but after you put in your XP collectibles and your 82 overalls, you turn in that set. And that reward, the reason I jumped to that one first is because that reward gives you a random 84 overall team builder. I don't know if it's a choice pack, I don't know what it is, but that's why I went to it first because it gives you an 84 overall random team builder. So I'm jumping right to that to get that player right now while he's impactful on my team. And then I would honestly just work my way back while you're waiting for more to come out, right? Because you can't do anything after you get all these collectibles. You're still waiting. So when the next one comes out, maybe I jump to that first and then I come back. As I get more and more XP collectibles, I will do the current one and work my way back and slowly catch up that way. But the, the highest level will be your best reward. So do that first. So I'm working level five back until level six comes out. Then I'll fill level six in and then I'll work back again. So now that we've done that, let's go just look at what we got for it. We got the token and we got the pack. There's the token in my item box. So I will send that token back to that set, build that set slowly, obviously, because you need 40 levels. And then I'm now going to open the 84 random choice pack. What do you get? Let's find out. Is it one? Is it two? Is it who knows? It looks like it's just one. And we got Steve Sullivan. So I'll put Steve Sullivan on the team and hope for the best out of him. But uh, that wasn't the, the greatest pull. But as a Leaf fan, I don't mind Steve Sullivan. Now I'll go in here and I'll quickly put that in there. So it's not in my collection. I can't actually quick sell it. I can't do anything with it that I'm not intending to do. Now it's in there out of the way. And 39 more to go until I get my free 99 overall. I do appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope this helps and go get that team builder quicker than leveling up, right? Because if you did level one, then level two, then level three, then level four, it would take you an extremely long time. And team builders are great, guys. The 87s are good this year. If you want Brian Leach, if you want Joe Neudike, whoever you want, the team builders are really good. And this will help and bring down the cost a little bit because now that's one set of teams at 25 players that you don't have to do to get one of the 87s because you need six. Now you only need five just for doing your dailies. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, thank you for watching. Go get those teams. Go make your team great. Go enjoy NHL 24 and have a blast, guys. Till next time. Ciao, ciao.